Hey guys, welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be doing a fun pregnancy update. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am currently pregnant with our third child. I'm six weeks along and I do have two other children. Um, with those two other children, I never did pregnancy updates. One, because my oldest, I didn't have YouTube and my second oldest, I was quite far along in my pregnancy when I started YouTube. So. This will be my first pregnancy update on YouTube and I am just excited to do these because it kind of keeps all these, you know, random things that happened in my pregnancy help me rem it will help me remember I can go back and say, "Oh, that's what happened with that pregnancy." So I'm excited to do these and I know a lot of people on here like to know what's going on with my pregnancies, so I'm excited to do this. So, let's jump in. All right, so first off, I am so excited to be pregnant. This is so cool. Um, I have two other children, like I said before, and so I've had two other pregnancies. And um, I'm just I'm just super excited to have another baby. I love kids and I love being pregnant. Yes, I'm one of the few moms that love to be pregnant. Although, you know, it's probably more like a 50-50 because I know a lot of moms who like to be pregnant and a lot of moms who really hate being pregnant. Um, so it really just depends on your experience, I'm sure. But I love being pregnant most of the time. This baby has definitely put me through a different and difficult few weeks and I'm only six weeks along. So we'll see how the rest of my pregnancy goes. But um, yeah, so I'm just, I'm really excited for this baby. Um, my oldest who is three is definitely excited about this baby. It's the first um, baby excited that he's ever been because he actually understands what a baby is. And he doesn't obviously understand the whole concept of the baby being in inside of me, but he still knows there's a baby coming and he's so excited and he just loves babies. So I'm super excited about that. And my daughter, she's the second child and she loves babies. So I'm just excited to see what their reaction is when the baby's born. But anyway, and as my belly grows and it becomes more evident that they're there's a change going to happen. So anyway, I'm excited about that. So I'd also like to talk a little bit before we get into it of what it took to get here, to get pregnant. Um, I'm not gonna go into details or there's not gonna be anything TMI here, um, but I've never had any fertility issues, but we didn't wanna have a baby right away after Kyla, like with Judah. Um, I got pregnant with Kyla when he was 11 months old. And that was a little bit sooner than I had and wanted, but I still loved it. I love that they're that close. Um, they're 19 months apart, so super close, and I think that's great. Um, but I knew with this next baby after Kyla that I wanted to have a further gap. And so we were being very careful not to be pregnant. We were using the natural family planning method. And you can look into that and get more details on that online, or I can talk to you more about it maybe in a future video. Um, but we were doing that and we were being very careful and I was able to not be pregnant for several months um, after Kyla was weaned, um, which I think I was, I, I tend to be like, having cycles and ready to, my body's about ready to have another kid right around nine months. Um, <clears throat> and so we pretty much were being very careful from like nine months and onward. Um, she is now 18 months. So we started trying when she was about, um, I would say like the tail end of her 16 months, 16 months. So um, I was able to really have a good gap. <clears throat> anyway, so uh, the reason for the big, or the bigger gap this time because I was really ready even earlier <laughs> to have another kid. But um, I had some pelvic floor issues and um, I, that I hadn't worked through after having Kyla and so it took me forever to find a specialist but I finally did and she was awesome and really helped me feel so much better and more like myself. So um, right around, I wanna say it was like September, we were like, okay, um, my the specialist was like, well, if you want to try and get pregnant now, that's fine. You're looking good. Where she gave us the green light to go ahead and start trying for a baby. And we started trying and it was like the perfect time to start trying. I, I wasn't sure we were going to get pregnant right away. And I don't know why I had this doubt that I wasn't going to get pregnant right away because I have always gotten pregnant right away. There's like almost never been any issues with getting pregnant. First, first trying for our firstborn was a little bit harder, but it only took like two months. 
And with this baby, it took the first try. So um, anyway, that all said, I'm rambling, but um, I got pregnant right away, right when we started trying. And so I was so excited. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where, how we got here. Um, just had some steps that I needed to take and to really focus on my health so that I was able to have an even better birth, hopefully with this baby. So I wrote out some things just so I don't forget what I'm actually talking about. So if you see me looking down, it's because I'm looking at what I wrote. Um, and then I want to talk about, a lot of people have asked me everywhere, all over social media, are you finding out the gender? And no, <laughs> we have a boy and a girl. And that was really the only reason we wanted to find out with each of, with our son and our daughter is because we had a boy and we wanted to know, we, with our first child, we for sure wanted to know because we had nothing prepared. We had no baby things. And so we wanted to know the gender. And after Kyla was born, we were like, oh, there's a girl. So we have girl stuff and boy stuff. And so we decided with this baby, since we're prepared for everything, as long as it's not twins, if it is twins, then I'm pretty sure we're still not figuring out the gender, but we might, I'm not sure about that. Anyway, if it's a singleton baby, um, we're not gonna be finding out the gender. And we just want it to be a surprise because it sounds like fun and that's how everybody used to do it. And I really don't want to start, I really don't want to use ultrasounds if I don't have to. So, um, the next thing is, how am I feeling? Um, so this pregnancy has been hard, guys. With Judah, well, I won't go into that yet, but with this pregnancy, I have just been sick. Um, like I'm feeling okay today, which is nice because I can film a video without feeling like I need to go lay down um, or feel, you know, like really nauseous. Um, right around the, the week that we found out, which is the week right before week four, um, I was so tired and fatigued. And Josiah was kind of hinting that I was pregnant. He was pretty sure I was, and I was pretty sure I was, but I didn't want to get my hopes up. So I would be like, no, I'm not. And, um, but I felt so sick or not so sick. I felt so exhausted. And then I would get spurts of like nausea, but it would go away really quickly. And then I would get, um, just weird symptoms. Like I'd get really hot. Okay. This may be really weird, but my ears would get super warm and like super hot and everything else would be so totally normal. And I was like, that's weird. Um, and I would break out occasionally. This just funky stuff like my breasts were tender and I was like you know I probably am pregnant or I'm just you know having symptoms before my period or something like that and so um anyway so leading up to that once we found out I was like oh that's why I've been feeling so puny um and then that week we found out which was essentially right before week four so I was like three weeks and six days or three weeks and four days I don't know anyway um, it ended up being where I felt so nauseous at the look of like raw fish or raw meat. Um, just thinking about it, I had like a heightened sense of smell. Um, like, you know, all those, you know, textbook pregnancy symptoms. Yeah, I got them all that week. Um, and so I just felt kind of off and kind of awful. And so I was like, wow, this baby is really like giving me symptoms super early. So I started feeling kind of off and then week five hit. Oh my gosh, I felt so sick. I was so tired. I had to sleep so much. Um, I had nausea like crazy. I uh, didn't throw up, still haven't yet, but I have felt like it. Like this morning I felt like I was going to. Um, I don't usually have morning sickness and I really don't usually with any of the other pregnancies, but it's like an all day sickness. So it's always fun. Um, and then what was some other, oh, Food aversion, so bad. Like I had certain foods that if I smelled them, it was that bad. And so, um, was not fun. Anyway, so I had a lot of just food aversion, smell aversions, and just random things would set me off. So there was that. Um, and then yeah, just nauseous. And really nothing has changed with the sixth week. Like I'm in my six weeks of pregnancy and I feel awful still. A little better today. And some days I have good days, some days I have really bad days. Um, so yeah, just like super bad aversions um, and just like not wanting to eat anything. 
really weird cravings. I, or not weird cravings, haven't had any of those yet. I've had strong cravings. So like one day I wanted um, white chili bean soup so bad. I had had it previously that day and then we at a church function, but came home and we didn't have any. And I was so distraught, 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 disappointed. Um, I wanted it so bad. And then I was like, well, well, maybe second best is like chicken soup. And I don't want the one from the store. No, I don't want that. Oh, I don't want that. Just so I was like, well, I can get you pick, pick, pick this up. And I was like, no, I don't want that. He's like, well, how about ramen? I said, that's about it. So all I could eat that one night was ramen noodles because I was like, nothing sounds good. Not even healthy food, which has been kind of weird because I've had like a lot of healthy food. Like I want a lot of those, but then I also have a lot of healthy food aversions too. Anyway, um, the big difference with this week is I've had uh, round ligament pain starting. Um, very, very small, but like cramps, <sighs> which I knew that was going to start up. Anyway, um, in the beginning, I've always had like, I don't know, my belly's been really itchy all of a sudden too. And then I've been showing uh, like six weeks sh starting, sh starting to show. Like there's an obvious little boop, boop, boop. Um, so, and I'll have to, I'll show you the bump at the end of the video, but like just an obvious little butt ump and, um, it's just very obvious. So uh, that's why I halfway think I might be pregnant with twins. I have twin sisters, so I have a higher chance of having, and they're fraternal. So I have an actual, a higher chance of having twins because they're fraternal. Identical are, um, are just, um, they happen every once in a while and they're not, so like fraternal, if they're in your family, you have a high chance of actually having twins. If it's identical, then that just happens randomly. Um, but fraternal twins have to be like in your family. Um, anyway, so I do have fraternal sister, fraternal twin sisters. So I have a high chance of having twins. Doesn't mean that I'm pregnant with twins. It could just be a third baby thing where I show early. But I feel like six weeks, like my pants are already super tight and I don't feel good when I wear them. And so I have to wear pants that are too big for me. But they're also, my bump's too small to wear like pregnancy jeans. Weird, I'm in that weird phase, which I wasn't in that phase with Kyla and Judah till I was like 12 and 14 weeks along. So I don't, whatever. Um, and then I've had some cold like symptoms and no, not like sick symptoms, but like dry nose and um, like runny nose symptoms. And that's normal for me with all my pregnancies so far. So yeah, those are my symptoms, lovely symptoms. Um, yeah, I'm just super exhausted and I'm thankful to be feeling a little bit better today. But um, anyway, and then I just kind of want to talk about real briefly some uh, differences between my kids. So like, obvious with Judah, I had almost no sickness whatsoever. I would get up in the morning and if I didn't eat right away, then I would feel a little sick. Um, so I had cracker sticks to the bed. With Kyla, I had that except worse. And then it it kept going like I was sick every day um, and, and at night more. Um, and that would only lasted till I wanna say 10 weeks and then it, I was fine. Um, with this baby, we'll see how long it goes, but it was just, it's been more extreme than both kids. I have never felt this sick before with babies. So those are the big differences. With Judah, I had the perfect pregnancy, never felt bad. With Kyla, in the beginning was hard, the rest of it was fine. And so I guess we'll see what this baby brings us. But so far, very rough start. But um, anyway, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for listening to me ramble on. Um, I hope some of you enjoyed it. Um, I know I'll be able to come back to this video and kind of just think about the different things that were different with this pregnancy and all the different fun stuff. So I will go ahead and I'll stand up and show you the think of my bump is it super big for six weeks because I think it is um, I feel like I am the size of a like 12 week pregnancy bump or 14 week um, and not six weeks so because six weeks I don't usually show this much with Kyla I wasn't showing at all so we'll see <laughs> 
But anyway, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. But I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!